Hi friends, welcome to today's story. Today's we're gonna read Tiger Troubles by Chitra Sounder. For this, you're gonna need your whiteboard, whiteboard marker, and we're gonna stop and think together. I'm gonna stop and think on this piece of paper because it's easier for me while I'm making the lesson. When we read Tiger Troubles, we're gonna stop and think and we're we're going to do a little bit different stop and think today. I'm gonna to ask you to draw a circle on your whiteboard because today's story is not so much a story with a linear structure, like a line. Our story is more like a circle structure. Oh, you'll see what I mean as we tell the story, but go ahead and draw a circle. And as we read the story, we're going to draw the events of our story around the circle. Okay, here we go. If you need to stop the video at any time to catch up, to finish drawing your stop and think, go ahead and just pause the video and then push play when you're ready to do the next part of the story. Okay, Tiger Troubles by Chitra Sandar. Tiger Troubles. Chapter one, it was nap time in the jungle. Sloth Bear wasn't sleepy. Whenever Sloth Bear wasn't sleepy, she got bored. Whenever she got bored, she looked for Porcupine. But Porcupine was fast asleep, curled up in a ball on the next tree. Wake up, called Bear, but Porcupine didn't hear a thing. Bear picked up some guavas from her tree and Throw him at Porcupine. All right, we're gonna stop right there and we're gonna draw our first character that we meet in this story, which is Sloth Bear. So up here inside your circle, just go ahead and quickly draw a bear. This is Sloth Bear and Sloth Bear is throwing guavas. Okay, I'm doing B for bear. what happens first. Let's put a number one. There we go. Chapter two. Splat! The guava smashed and splattered all over Porcupine. He woke and startled. When startled, Porcupine always did what his mom had taught him. Danger, danger, curl from stranger! Look, he's rolling away with his guava all stuck to him. He curled back into a ball and he rolled down the tree. All right, so let's stop and think. We'll do our next event, which involves porcupine. Not sure I know how to draw a porcupine, but let's give it a try. for porcupine. <laughs> Here's how the author drew or how the artist drew porcupine if you want to see. You can pause it here and work on your porcupine. All right, let's see what happens next. Tumble, tumble, thud. Oops, porcupine fell on crocodile's head as he rolled away. Ouch! Crocodile woke up in an alarm. When alarmed, Crocodile always followed her mom's advice. Danger, danger, race from stranger. The muddy riverbank was very slushy and slippery. Whoosh, snap! All right, let's stop there and draw our next. Crocodile. All right, this crocodile has a big open mouth, so I'm gonna draw a big open mouth. See if 
the crocodile. This is number three. Whoosh, snap! Crocodile splashed as she fell into the river and snapped at elephant's tail. <laughs> Chapter three. Ah! Elephant hopped on three legs, hurt by the tug on his tail. When hurt, elephant always did what his mom told him to do. Danger, danger, flee from stranger. He, so he ran out of the water onto the banks. He ran helter-skelter, staggering all over the forest. Bumpity bump. All right, let's stop there. Let's add elephant to our story. Elephant. This is number four. Good. So our characters so far are bear and porcupine, crocodile, elephant. Let's see what happens next. He ran into the guava tree. The tree shook left and then it shook right. Sloth Bear looked down, holding onto a branch with all her might. Don't do that, she cried from the tree, but it was too late. Sloth Bear screeched loudly as she hurtled down the tree, but she did not fall on the hard ground. Neither did she fall into the big puddle under the tree. She fell on something soft, warm, and scary. I don't know if you can see that, but something sticking out from under the bear. <laughs> Chapter four. Sloth bear tumbled on top of little tiger. That was bad luck because everyone knew that little tiger was fond of eating. She was fond of gobbling, munching, and polishing off her food. All right. Let's stop and draw a little tiger. Five and a T for tiger. Everybody now. Yum, said little tiger. Sloth bear salad is my favorite. I'm going to eat you up. Wait, wait, cried bear. It wasn't my fault. I was sitting on top of the tree eating guavas. I fell on you because elephant shook the tree. Elephant trembled in fear from his trunk to his tail, but he didn't want to get Bear into trouble, so he came out of hiding behind the trees. I shook the tree, moaned Elephant, but it was an accident. Oh, said Little Tiger, I love Elephant eclairs. I'm going to eat you up. Okay, so... The reason we're drawing our story in a circle is because you're going to see that now that Tiger has been woken up, we're going to go back and check in on each animal. So I'm going to, so first let's draw our arrows. We had Sloth bumped into Porcupine. Porcupine bumped into Crocodile. Crocodile bumped into Elephant. Elephant bumped into the tree and then that bumped into tiger. So now we're gonna go back around the circle. Tiger is gonna eat elephant. Oh no! So draw the arrow back around the circle. 
wait, wait, cried Elephant. It wasn't my fault. I bumped into the tree because someone bit my tail. Little Tiger thought about it for a moment. Chapter five. Sloth Bear fell on me because Elephant shook the tree, said Little Tiger. Elephant shook the tree because someone bit his tail. That's right, said Elephant and Bear. Who bit Elephant's tail? asked Little Tiger. Crocodile peeped up out of the water. She didn't want to get Elephant into trouble, so she crawled onto the banks and whispered, I bit Elephant's tail, but it was an accident. Little Tiger smacked her lips. Crispy crocodile crackers are amazing, she said. I'm going to eat you up. Uh-oh. Now, elephant survived, but now tiger's going to eat the crocodile. So let's go back. Hmm, I hope you can make a prediction about what's going to happen next in our circular story. You think that tiger's going to eat crocodile? Hmm, let's see. Wait, wait, said Crocodile. It wasn't my fault. I bit Elephant's tail because someone knocked me on the head. Little Tiger thought about it for a moment. Sloth Bear fell on me because Elephant shook the tree, said Little Tiger. Elephant shook the tree because Crocodile bit his tail. Crocodile bit his tail because someone knocked her on the head. That's about right, said Bear, Elephant, and Crocodile. So who knocked Crocodile on the head? Porcupine unrolled himself and peeped out from under the leaves. He didn't want Crocodile to get in trouble. I knocked Crocodile on the head, he whispered, but it was an accident. Little Tiger growled. Porcupine pizza right at my doorstep, she said. I'm going to eat you up. All right, let's go check our, our story. So, Tiger was gonna eat elephant, but he's not. Was gonna eat crocodile, but he's not. Now he says he's gonna eat porcupine. Hmm, oh no, I hope porcupine will survive. What do you think, you guys? Are we done going all the way back to the circle? No, we have one more. Let's see what happens next. Wait, wait, cried Porcupine. It wasn't my fault. I fell on Crocodile's head because someone threw sticky guavas at me. Little Tiger thought about it for a minute. Hmm. Sloth Bear fell on me because Elephant shook the tree. Elephant shook the tree because Crocodile bit his tail. Crocodile bit his tail because Porcupine fell on her head. And Porcupine fell on her head because someone threw guavas at him. That sounds just about right, said Bear, Elephant, Crocodile, and Porcupine. Who panicked Porcupine then? asked Little Tiger. Everybody looked around. Who was it? No one peeped out of the trees or scuttled out of the bushes. No one came to explain. Sloth Bear gasped. She realized that she had started it all. <laughs> we knew that, right? She started it all right here. About that, said Bear. I wasn't sleepy and I wanted someone to play with. So I tried to wake up Porcupine by throwing guavas at his tree. Little Tiger thought about it for a moment. I'm not sleepy either, said Little Tiger. Can we play together then? Porcupine rolling, crocodile running, elephant bumping, and my jumping has made me very tired, said Sloth Bear with a big yawn. I am sleepy now. That made Porcupine yawn too, and then Crocodile did. Elephant yawned right after, and the yawn spread through the forest like a bad smell. Even Little Tiger yawned. Me too, she mumbled, walking away to her den. It was nap time in the jungle. Not a leaf moved, nor a creature stirred. The sleepy animals slept until the jungle turned dark, 
and starlight sparkled through the trees. Yay! Well, thanks for making a, the circle story map with me, you guys. You can use this story map to do a retelling about what happened first, using your words first and then, then next, after that. But then remember to go back because Tiger was going to eat everybody, but they figured out who was the start of the problem and they all decided to just go to sleep. All right. Please take a picture of your circle story map and post it in Seesaw.